1 trillion coins. Auction house, disabled. Bazaar, disabled. Backpacks, disabled. On April 5th, 2021, a player named Diesel logged onto Skyblock, created a trillion coins out of thin air, and left a path of chaos in his wake. More than two years later, the mystery still remains. What happened? Ah ha ha, well, we'll find out today. My name is Sudi, and welcome to another episode of Hypixel History. In every game, there are players willing to bend or break the rules to get ahead. On Hypixel, those rules are very clearly defined, with exploiting or duplicating being not allowed regardless of intent. Even with these undeniable red lines, some people are willing to cross them to gain advantage. Other players, though, just want to have fun. I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> In many game modes, including Hypixel Skyblock, duplication glitches are some of the most dangerous exploits around. They allow players to create items, coins, and generate unlimited wealth from nothing. The faster the duplication glitch, the more powerful it is, and the more harm it can cause. On Skyblock, one long-standing method of duplicating items is done with lobby crashes. When a lobby crashes, it sometimes rolls back, which can potentially duplicate items. This means that if someone can purposefully induce a lobby crash, they have a duplication glitch. One method of crashing lobbies, as detailed by Time Dio, involved repelling candles. Even still, lobby crashes are slow, unreliable, and easily detectable. Every time a lobby crashes, the admins are sent a crash report. If a ton of lobbies start to go down in a short period of time, especially if it's someone's island, then they'll know something's up and will go investigate. With all that in mind, any duplication glitch that can be done within a user interface or GUI is much better. Those allow for faster item creation and are much more difficult to detect. In late 2020, one such duplication glitch was discovered involving stacked backpacks. Backpacks are items that allow players to store items within them, and stacked backpacks are backpacks that have been duplicated and thus have the same UUID. The UUID, or Universally Unique Identifier, is what allows the server to differentiate between unique items. So features with the same UUID that can interact with each other can cause big issues. All the way back in 2020, someone found out that when backpacks were duplicated, some very funky stuff would go on with the items inside of them. For instance, if you had two same UUID backpacks, stacked them, put an item in, separated them, took the items out, and then put the backpacks together once again, you'd have doubled your stuff. This was slightly risky because stuff could get deleted, but it was still a crazy fast method to duplicate items. One player named Treox, who is one of Skyblock's most skilled exploit hunters, created 15 stacked backpacks with a dupe that involved the showcase block. He did this with Quacky, with both of them standing around a showcase block with a backpack in it. If one of them took the item out of the menu, and the other picked up the showcase block, the item would duplicate. Alright, three, two, one, go. Wait. Using this method, Treox created 15 same UUID backpacks, and he reported the showcase dupe to get a game breaker. He took note not to report the stacked backpacks glitch though, which meant he had a working dupe that was incredibly difficult to discover, because you'd need another duplication glitch to begin with to create the items necessary to do the backpack dupe. Patching the showcase block exploit also meant that no one else could create backpacks with that method, but some other glitch hunters who knew that Treox was in possession of them threatened to get him wiped if he didn't throw them into the void. So he did, but still, the backpacks held a crazy potential. As the glitch lay dormant, Treox and his friend Dafty discovered another dupe, this one involving a lobby crash. As I mentioned previously, lobby crashes are not very good for duping items, because they're easily detectable. Thus, they aren't conducive to mass scale duplication. However, because the backpack method is so much more efficient, they only needed to do the crash dupe once, so they did. That involved grabbing a Soul Whip, which is a fishing item that shoots out a beam that deals damage to any enemies in its path. That's not important. What's important is that the beam is made of particles, and Treox and Dafty realized that if they shift-clicked the Soul Whip while facing a hopper chest, the particles wouldn't go away. By doing this over and over, enough particles could be spawned to crash the lobby. 
From there, items could be duped. As they were doing this though, another player named Quaglet was in the lobby. Quaglet had replay mod on, and it was through this that he and Quacky figured out how the Soul Whip crash worked as well. That didn't matter though, because Treox and Dafty had created stacked backpacks, which could then be used forever. Treox and Dafty, while in conversation, had the idea to dupe as much as possible on one account just for the lols. Remember what I said about, I'm an agent of chaos. By that point, the Soul Whip crash had been patched, so Dafty had the only same UUID backpack still around. And so, on April 5th, Treox logged on to an alt account named Diesel to introduce a little anarchy. Okay, that's enough with the Joker. It's starting to sound like we live in a society around here. So, Dafty was in possession of the backpacks, and he had to get them to Diesel without it being obvious. All trades on Skyblock are recorded, and they knew that the admins would certainly go through Diesel's activities preceding the chaos that was about to unfold. When Diesel logged on, he needed some quick cash, so he put two pieces of wool on his auction and went around telling people to bid, saying, Techno vs Dream, whichever piece of wool has a higher bid is the best Minecraft player. Somehow this worked and people bid on his wool and he got cash that way. A couple hours before that, Dafty auctioned off numerous small backpacks, advertising them as placeable backpacks. He then auctioned the ones off with the same UUID, which Diesel was able to purchase. Using the money he got from the wall, Diesel went on to buy as many small backpacks from the auction house as possible, including Dafty's. Auction house purchase history is public, and after the Skyblock player base found out there was a duper around, it was absolutely certain that people would comb through that information in search of clues. All these steps to cover their tracks made it nearly impossible for anyone to trace things back to Dafty. Once he got his hands on the same UUID backpacks, Diesel began to duplicate titanium-plated drill engines, which are mining items that do fancy stuff for... mining. That doesn't matter. What matters is that a stack of titanium-plated drill engines sold for a measly 659,200,000 coins to the NPC. Since he was duping backpacks at a time, that meant every time he sold to the NPC, he was bringing in billions and billions of coins. By duping these drill engines, it took Treox less than 45 minutes to go from zero to a trillion coins. Yikes. That's a rate of over 1.3 trillion coins per hour, and as far as I know, there's not a single bizarre flipping strategy faster than that one. What's up guys, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video, and today we're going to be doing an early game money making method, bringing in about 1.3 trillion Skyblock coins an hour. If you do this method consistently, trust me, you will be able to get rich. Now, subscribe for more money making methods like this one. After creating all this wealth out of thin air, Treox started to have some fun. What's the saying? We do a little trolling? Well, Treox did a lot of trolling. He began by buying a stock of stonks. It only took him 30.1 billion coins to buy all 21,747 stonks on the market. Treox spent another 3 billion buying out the golden jerry boxes and also bought out the entire market of soul fragments, red gifts, great white shark teeth, enchanted blaze rods, and you get the point. Once he had cleared out the bazaar, after spending a solid 99 billion coins, Treox moved on to the auction house. He bought tons of items auctioned for the integer limit, 2.147 billion coins, that greedy skyblock players looking to profit off the duper put up. Treox managed to purchase another 54 billion coins worth of items before he was banned from skyblock. It took 24 minutes between the moment he began purchasing from the bazaar in bulk to when the admin Jay of Armin kicked him from the game. Jay of Armin and Treox proceeded to have a lovely conversation. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you on this fine day? I am doing well. Nice. Can you explain how you managed to gather the small sum of 1 trillion coins? Well, you see, I was walking around and I somehow picked up a few thousand titanium engines. Alrighty. I don't think Jay of Armin is British, but he obviously knew that the conversation was going nowhere. So he stopped messaging Diesel and disabled the auction house, bazaar, and backpacks in case Diesel had another account with tons of coins ready to deal some damage if the Diesel account was beamed. LOL bazaar disabled? Really? Oh, yep, yep. That, the, like, that's probably what it is, yeah. Treox proceeded to play some duels. Hi, 
Skypixel says, and parkour, as every single player on Skyblock tried to message him to figure out the duplication glitch. 110 minutes after the shenanigans began, Diesel was banned for 90 days and wiped from Skyblock. Backfax remained disabled for quite some time, and many Skyblock players were left unable to access their valuable items. The admin at Don Piresso wrote on the forums, We've reached our last straw, and urged the community to understand that this is necessary for the overall health of the game's economy at this time. In response to what Diesel did, the Skyblock developers placed limits on NPC, Bazaar, and Auction House activities. They also reduced the NPC sell price of tons of valuable items. Items. Nowadays, the NPCs will only allow for players to sell a maximum of 200 million coins worth of items per day. This made it more difficult for dupers to get astronomically wealthy, but somehow that still happened. So, what happened to Treyox? Well, he stuck around. Less than two weeks later, Dafty discovered another infinite coin method. Skyblock has an NPC named George who will pay cash dollar billies for pets. For instance, he'll slide a solid 500,000 coins for a rare dolphin pet if you go in, put the pet into the GUI, and click confirm. Of course, most pets go for a lot more than their George price on the auction house, but if there was somehow a way to get George to give you more money, well... Dafty found out that if you go to George, put in a pet, turn off your Wi-Fi, and spam click the confirm button, then turn your Wi-Fi back on, George would give you way more more coins than he was supposed to. The NPC would glitch out and think that every click with the Wi-Fi turned off was another pet you were giving him. This meant you could buy a dolphin for 800k, sell it to George for 6 mil, rinse, and repeat. Yikes. Eventually, Treyox moved away from Skyblock and hasn't been involved in the community much since. He still was down to help me out with this video though, so big props to him. If you have your own ideas for a cool Pitfall video, drop it in the video suggestion section of the Pitfall Discord, or shoot me a DM. Huge thanks to Quacky, Treyox, and Dafty for their help with this one. I've been your host Sudi, and remember, duping is a big no-no on Hypixel. 